I'm Martin Fox, and I'm a Freemason. Freemason. Freemasonry is all about mysteries, and I love mysteries. I'm going to investigate the biggest Masonic mystery of them all. Where did we come from? There are six million Freemasons in the world. That makes us the largest fraternal society the world has ever seen. And there are almost as many theories about where we come from. Some people think we come from the time of King Solomon, and there are conspiracy theorists that think that we come from another planet. The truth is, we just don't know where we came from. And what I find most shocking is that most of my brethren are just willing to accept that. Well, not me. We're here at St Paul's Cathedral, where conventional Masonic wisdom tells us it all started. The idea is that intellectuals and noblemen of the day, such as Sir Christopher Wren, who designed this beautiful cathedral, got together at a tavern just across the road called the Goose and Gridiron and founded the first Grand Lodge of Freemasonry. Now, Freemasonry contains complex spiritual and philosophical rituals, and we're told that these rituals were taken from stonemasons. Now, I find it hard to believe that these beautiful rituals that have gone on to inspire kings of England, presidents of America, and even the founding fathers of America, were written by the illiterate jobbing builders of the day. And if they were, what's happened to the free carpenters or free butchers or free gardeners? To me, it just doesn't add up. The problem with the stonemason theory, for me, is that almost all the symbols we use are far older than that. Indeed, central to everything we do in Freemasonry is ancient Egyptian iconography. The all-seeing eye, the pyramid, the plum rule, the square, the level, and even the themes of our rituals are thousands of years old. Indeed, in the time of the pharaohs, every mummy was buried with a square over his heart. Just like in modern Freemasonry, every mason has his heart tested by a square to show that he is a true and noble person. So important was ancient Egypt to Masonic thoughts that it, late in the 1800s, Freemasons excavated two great obelisks from Alexandria, placing one here in London and the other in New York. I think the American story is very, very important. I know Masonic experts who are Masons who have got very opposing points of view. Some believe that Freemasonry literally founded America. I have other Freemason experts who, who say, no, 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 my personal opinion, you know, it's on the dollar bill. And if you look at their, their constitutions, it's almost completely Masonic, even the way that Americans put their hands on their hearts come from a Masonic origin. I am the perfect person to make this documentary. I'm the Masonic maverick that's actually going to find the truth. I work for the world's largest Masonic publisher, and because of that, I know everybody from every country and every historian and expert, and because I'm a Freemason, they know I'm genuinely looking for the truth. But most importantly, I'm the person that's willing to question with an open mind. I really want to know what the truth is. I really want to solve this mystery. And finally, find the truth, after all these years, behind what founded the most successful society the world has ever seen.